So there's a, hold on, there's a spider congress in my vestibule. There's one right there. There's one right there. I already removed a lot of spiders. Ooh, and then there's also a run, one right there. Um, and But this one right here is the scary one. It already has like a, like a victim. It's eating it right now. Good morning. It is a little bit later this morning, which is wonderful because we have been getting up at 4, 4.30 the last two days. So sleeping in a little bit was much better. So we have about eight miles to get to Great Barrington, Massachusetts. We're going to try to do some sort of resupply, some sort of laundry if we can. Maybe a little washing ourselves and then have some food as well. And then uh, just kind of get out of Great Barrington and camp somewhere. Um, we're not trying to stay at a hotel or zero or anything like that. Um, but let's see, it's mostly downhill, which is fantastic because we did all of the crazy hills yesterday so that we didn't have to do them today. Boston? Oh yeah, Boston. You've been to Boston, okay. But like... Um. <coughs> Beautiful view. Some rocks. But look at this. Hey, there's a lake right here, baby. Hello, porcupine. In the tree. Please so don't, little. please don't do the, the, the things is, that Is me. that a baby? It's a baby. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I'm sorry, you're probably so scared of us. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you, buddy. You oh, you're so cute. Oh, look at the face. Oh, you are a baby. I'm sorry, Where's honey. Where's your face? face then we have this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's so cute. It but me why off. is it here? So much different scenery in like a few amounts of miles. Look at all these hikers. And then us. Ooh. So just before we are in Great Barrington, what do we see? No way! Très magique! So I had some really great trail magic, burgers, hamburgers, water. I don't know why I don't film during that moment. I guess I just always want to enjoy that moment so much. But it's such a great place. I guess they do trail magic like pretty often, six days out of the week, except Sundays. It's pretty amazing. shuttle to take us into Great Barrington. We tried to hitch but nobody picked us up. So a shuttle it is. We are in Great Barrington, Massachusetts. Alright we had lunch at a Mexican restaurant which was amazing. It is currently 94 degrees. And I'm 95, I'm not kidding. And uh, we're just trying to get to like a grocery store 
but like nobody wants to drive us or nobody wants to take us so all right we did find a ride they gave us a ride for like one mile and we're in price chopper and it's so warm it's so hot in massachusetts Supply? No, this is for uh, eating more. And now we are at a brewery. <laughs> <laughs> we are on our way to try to find a place where we can put our tents. Gonna check this here out right there. Good morning. Last night we stayed at the community center in Great Barrington and it was a nice place to stay just have a lawn where you can put your tent up and now we're heading out back into the mountains of massachusetts and i believe it's going to be around 17 miles let's see what we've got and off we go and there's some water for us which is so nice and we're heading out Just a rock between two trees. Is it a rock in a hard place? <laughs> I'm so silk blazing this morning. Lots of spider webs. So what I'm walking into right now is called the Ice Gulch. I guess somehow this area right here maintains snow up until the summer at times and also because of the way it's set up is often a lot cooler. So this is definitely a welcoming experience. It's still quite warm but uh, colder than cooler than the temperature I've been hiking in for the last two hours. So what is the topic of today? <clears throat> mosquitoes. The mosquitoes are insane. <laughs> I feel like a mass murderer. I've killed so many mosquitoes and they're not the smartest mosquitoes because they don't even know that it's coming, man. But yeah, mass murderer, mosquito murderer. So I'm not sure we, we are going to be able to find a place where we can have lunch without being attacked by so many mosquitoes. Um, yeah, so that'll be kind of the topic of today, I think. It's also supposed to be another 93 de degrees today. I believe right now it's like, it's, oh, it's 79 right now. And it's around 10, 10, 15, maybe 10, 30. I don't recall right now, um, but yeah, let's see. It's going to be a tough day when it comes to the heat, but also those mosquitoes. I call them mosquitoes. And then we call Massachusetts massa, mosquitoes, something like that. I don't know, uh, but Mas Massachusetts is really nice with the exception to the mosquitoes, but I'm sure the mosquitoes are everywhere. So. Getting ready to ascend the second uh, mountain for today, or hill, mountain, hill, I don't know. They are a lot higher already now than they used to be. So we're starting to get back into the higher elevation mountains, which is nice. It's exciting, the views are amazing, usually the higher the elevation, for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, just kind of enjoying this little walk right here before going uphill again just came from there and that cool sign benedict pond is where i am going
I'm here on Benedict Pond and it's so beautiful. I'm not sure if you can see them. But there's some fishies, they're just waiting, thinking. I'm gonna give them something to eat, but nope. Took about two and a half hours probably of a break here and heading on to the shelter, which is around seven and a half miles away. What is this? Look at him. So colorful. Today has been just like a little bit of a blur day. I mean, saying, I mean, the lake stay was beautiful, but when it comes to just hiking, nothing really interesting for me to show you guys. But I did want to say how much I appreciate the Appalachian Trail, but also the community of the trail. I think it's really awesome how there's always something to look forward to in a way, right? So, um, for example, Something that we are looking forward to tomorrow is getting to a particular shelter. I can't think of the name now, but I will know tomorrow. But it's a shelter that's taken care of quite nicely. And the caretakers of the shelter make pancakes every morning. So, you know, it's something that we look forward to, even though it's just like it's pancakes, we can make those at home. But when you're hiking the trail, it can get monotonous, you know. So there's always, it's always something cool to look forward to, and that's something to look forward to. Another thing I'm looking forward to is the cookie lady. So everything that I'm telling you now is just stuff that I, I heard, but I'll know better, of course, when the events happen. But I, apparently there was a lady, um, she called, was the cookie lady, and she would give cookies. But also, I think you don't just get the cookies. I think you have to pick blueberries for her and hell her. That's no problem for me. I'd be happy to pick some blueberries for some cookies. But I, the uh, lady passed away and there's another woman that uh, took over the tradition. And so we're still uh, having the same tradition of picking blueberries for the cookie lady and she'll give us some cookies. So that's something to look forward to. That's gonna be like in two days. So it's nice to always have something to look forward to, which makes the um, journey a little bit better. I mean, it's already an amazing journey, but having something to look forward to makes it much easier. <laughs> 